Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the energies of March and this full moon. So there is a lot going on energetically. You may have noticed that about a week ago, a lot of devices went wonky. Um, there's been huge storms, power out, but we still have energetics on the move that are going to create some swift and dramatic changes. Now, one of the things that is represented here is there's there's a couple of things on the checklist. This is this energy is going to be particularly about the self. So if you're focused on looking at someone else as your love interest, turn that around and start really looking at your own life because you're going to be feeling it. The energy is dislodging some things and it is also going to prod you from the inside to feel, to feel the things you should feel and to feel some things that you may need to push off of and end because this is closure energy. We also have a change of the season and as I like to say every single year, beware the Ides of March because these are some of the quick and abrupt sudden changes, dramatic changes that sometimes someone's deciding. So just like Caesar found himself dead at the hands of his own friends on the floor of the Senate, uh, we are dealing with some deep emotional issues such as abandonment, betrayal, and essentially things that can feel like you've been left at the altar, you've been left for dead, or that you want to, you know, still need to find somebody right here's where you turn it around and you focus on yourself because there is a lot of uh untangling of emotions i would say there's just a lot of it so first of all in this energy this is a let go energy let go of whatever you have your death grip on that could be a job that could be a family relationship it could be where you keep trying to make things work in a marriage and you finally need to bite the bullet and say to yourself and admit it, it's going in the direction of a divorce. Or if it's a long-term relationship, it's breaking up, or it could be an engagement that's been called off. So this energy has a lot to do with your personal love life, despite whatever is happening in the world, despite whatever you see in lovely TV commercials or in articles that encourage you to go play the field and stuff. There's an inner drive to really have real love to have real feelings and real intimacy and no longer just go for the superficiality of the hunt or you know a primal let's make a baby drive this energy is really pushing both men and women and gay and straight people to not just hetero people to kind of move beyond just that surface level stuff just the things that like they don't serve you any purpose anymore. And your soul isn't going to play those games anymore. Your soul isn't interested in little playground games of like the dating world. That's not going to cut it for you. This is about your emotional health. And so you're going to have to be forced to let go of some things. You might be feel like you're being forced to make a decision on a relationship. That forcing, that forcing is done by your own soul, not by people. It plays out with people where it looks like no matter what you do, you can't get along. You say night, they say day, you say black, they say white, and then it flips around and nothing can ever match up or line up ever again. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Patricia, and I help people with their twin flame ascension and much more because emotional health is a part of it, your financial health is a part of it, your love life is a part of it, and your physical health is part of it, all through the integration of your light body. In your house of money, this is going to be paying attention to the things that are a part of your finances. We're in the first quarter of the year. What are you seeing in this first quarter? How is your financial health? Are you thinking about leaving a job or activity that is unfulfilling for you? I'm going to say something here. Many men are going to feel this. And I'm going to say to you this, there's a way to do it where you don't have to quit your day job, 
but that fulfillment needs to come from another place. You cannot sublimate yourself into work. You can't become a workaholic any longer. And there's even more to do with this because this is going to have a lot to do with winds of change. You know, in a lot of uh, older times when you had big sailing ships that would go trading around the world, like they would literally have to wait for the wind to change to get going. And that's us. We're waiting for changes. Many people have been waiting for change for years. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you have to take a baby step yourself. If not, you get forced to. What else is happening? Well, with women, you're going to find that you are impatient. You're feeling unfulfilled in other ways. Maybe it's not satisfying. Maybe you really need to be touched. We are sensual people. We're we're activated. There's a part of us that it's a requirement. It's not needy. It is a necessity. So there's a difference between being clingy and needy and actually needing the things that you need to for proper functioning, just so you can feel sane in the world and so forth. Now, that doesn't mean being indiscriminate and having indiscriminate affairs all over the place either. So impatient, short tempered, you can feel like you are easily annoyed. You feel tension. You feel pressure. Guess what's happening? Your heart's about ready to pop and you're getting some heart pressure and you may even have physical symptoms of that pressure and tension. It's coming. The call is coming from inside the house. It's coming from the inside because you can feel it from your real other half. You can feel that dissatisfaction, that feeling of like, oh my God, another day. Let's get on with this. Now, when it comes to um, men, okay, nobody's a divine masculine until they really start behaving divine and, you know, doing esteemable things. So how are they going to get there? Well, their other half has to help them and they have to do some of the steps too. So you might see men being a little angsty, um, looking for the next target, you know, the next person they want to pick on. They're not properly channeling all that tension and pressure because they're being pressured by this energy to do something different. Do something different. Do something proactive. Okay, don't just look for the next target. Don't just lean on another person. Don't go road raging. You know, this is going to be closure. For hetero men, this is going to be that you are closed off from the pool of women, okay? That whole big giant gene pool and soul group pool that you've had to select from with plenty of fish, closed off because you're going to get the weirdnesses. You know what the weirdnesses are? You attract the weird people. You attract the people that you'd never really want to be in a relationship you attract the things that are already so karmic, like it, it just, it, I don't know, you want to do something else be, besides smell that, you know, stuff coming at you. Okay, you ought to be able to smell it a mile away by now. You can feel bereft. Loneliness is an epidemic because that too is pushing people to genuine relationships, not just superficial stuff. I'm actually appalled sometimes when I hear about the friends, people that they call friends, how those friends betray them or bum money or leech off of them or don't even acknowledge them somehow. And yet those are friends. Those are not friends. Sometimes they're not even drinking buddies. You can feel that there's nowhere to release the um, sexual energy or frustration. You shouldn't just be releasing your stuff into someone else either, okay? That's no longer appropriate. It's not necessary. It's not the way of it. It's not a DM way, and it never really was the way. Again, you don't need to find a next target, okay? Now, some people attribute this to, you know, alpha males and predators. I'm going to say this. When people get, you know, when they get overloaded and overwhelmed with stuff, a lot of times, that seems like the answer. Find someone, meet someone, do something, you know, get a partner. 
we're missing our proper partners. That's why it feels like that, but not just anyone will do and not just anyone in terms of your soul. There is a way to do this. I have the ways for you to make connections so that you are up leveled and uplifted without being, you know, involved with yet another wrong person because that person, you know, whether or not you know it, they, you've connected and then you have to clear their energy off. You find that some of the things you used to do doesn't bring the same satisfaction that it once did, like getting drunk or hanging with the wrong people or a little bit of titillation. Like it, it's just very fleeting and it's not the satisfaction that it might have seemed like. This is all part of the spiritual maturity of coming, kind of becoming a ripe lover, a ripe, juicy, sensual lover who is deep and he has the capability for depth and accountability, who knows themselves, now, it isn't going around like just a 3D person. So again, with att attracting the weirdnesses, okay, karmic stuff can happen. Cars can break down. That is so prevalent in this energy where you are gonna be, you know, stopped from making a worse mistake many times. And a lot of people, they might not want to hear this, but take heed of those clues and cues from the karmic universe and get yourself up leveled to the real vibrational level that you belong at. So you're going to see a lot of female emotion and you're going to see a lot of masculine angst and the feminine is actually better positioned than she's ever been because since October of last year, it has been the complete closure of the old reproductive patterns as we've once known them, which means childbirth and uh, attracting the wrong mate who doesn't care, doesn't care about their offspring, things like this. I mean, it's all got to stop. That is the paradox is that the things of the past are now cropping up. All of the things that have been going on for decades, centuries, and millennia of you know where does where does the buck stop the buck stops here so i teach you how your light body can actually create those energetic boundaries deflect those people that are the wrong people the weirdnesses like i say karmic weirdness do you need more of it hell no you really don't you don't have to be short-tempered you can find balance and the balance is achieved with your integrated light body through your integration process. That is your unification process and that is true union where you're unifying yourself. It doesn't mean finding the next person who's really the wrong person to come live with you. And I know this in my personal life. My ex-husband, he was gonna get remarried, he called me and I, he was, he, everything in him was sending off alarm bells. Like, I don't love her, I don't wanna be with her, I don't want, and guess what he found? He found, uh, a really nice person, but nowhere near anyone he wanted to be with and he didn't love her. How is that fair to her? But what he said was, who's going to do the cooking and cleaning? And there you go. And there's a lot of people like that. They're looking for their mama, but they're marrying someone and burdening them with all of their stuff, you know, or women who are just looking for their daddy again. Okay, all of these mommy and daddy issues, these are like common knowledge right now. So is narcissism. So are you ready to raise the bar? Are you ready for some true twin flame coaching to tell you what your next steps are, to guide you and to help you and help you with that integration of your light body where that part of you on the inside matches the part above you and everything starts clicking for you and you continue on your ascension trajectory? The answer should be yes if you feel that you've plateaued if you're in a state of inertia, if you find yourself feeling like really weird, you know, uh, homicidal impulses, or you want to hurt people, or you just can't stand it anymore, or you're so lonely, you want to bust out, you feel like going into attack mode, you know, the, this is what this energy is about. It is going to squeeze people. And so you will still see chaos in the news media. You're seeing a stirring up of the energies because it's stirring up the complacency. People want real change. They want real meaning in their life, but that's real stuff. Like they want someone who is like right there for them, taking responsibility with them, 
being deep with them. Okay. They want someone who's not a hot mess. And sometimes both people are a hot mess. But how do you bring that to center? How do you get this extreme and this extreme? Now, I'm going to say something else to you because I'm not sure if other people notice it the way I do. But every time you have someone who's in the public eye or famous kill themselves, okay, you have that suicidal feeling. Right after that, you have homicides. You have a whole slew of homicides or mass shootings. You have like shooters. Why is that? Okay. This goes deep into the roots, and this is exactly the thing I'm saying. By integration of your light body, I help you with that deep root stuff because you don't want to be a victim of it. You don't want to feel it. You don't want to be anywhere near it. But we also need to unravel this. So if you're interested in healing humanity, start with yourself and forget the sexual frustration where everybody's looking to fight someone or fornicate with someone just to get their rocks off again okay we're not just cleaning our pipes and getting our rocks off or creating unwanted people there has to be a raising of the bar here i for one have been absolutely amazed to see how many people keep stringing themselves along looking at like things like number series or license plates like that should have worked for you like maybe five or 10 years ago, only to an extent, because those are just symbolics. That is not real guidance. That is not integration of your light body. That is not doing the work. That's just noticing something. That's being aware of your surroundings and messages that can come to you from the natural world. I'm not totally opposed to it, but it's really not going to cut it for you going forward. You need to learn and utilize the parts of your body that are specifically created for your own personal guidance, not the guidance of a whole group or collective. You will see the division in the communities out there where there are people that are afraid to take the next step, even if it's a baby step, and they stay put until the next several cycles and I'm going to say something here too. June is a very pivotal point. If you want to learn how to do the work, okay, and have a sensible way of doing it. In other words, where there's guidance, there's instructions. There's instructions that you follow. It makes sense. It's easy to do. It enables you to keep your job and get better. Have you been having opposition with people around you, like family members, like bosses or supervisors or colleagues i have ways to smooth out those relationships and make it a new relationship with a fresh start now there's ways you have to do this without going off on people so like i talked about in my last video your throat chakra is not for yelling at people it's for singing it's for singing poetry to your love it's for creating it is for, you know, having great conversations. So, you know, that is what it is really for. There is another part of you, and it's not here, that communicates. And that is a high heart communication. That is a true communion. And there are levels of it. And I love teaching people to do this because they have phenomenal high level experiences that they can have again and again. So if you need to know what a daily routine is that you would need, it is in my book. It is, uh, I have five books on these topics where essentially it's about your subtle bodies, your breathing, your sleeping, how to eat, how to create your new life and manifest, okay, through something that I call grid work. But what that means is using your body in your own area to simply upgrade upgrade your experience have a great restaurant have a great cafe a great store great sales you know things where you feel like this is how it should be because that is how it should be this is a month of really what i would call like even though it's tumultuous energy this is where some really good masculine energy comes in we have two patron saint energies. You know, we have St. Patrick's Day. He's symbolic of freedom, even though he was never actually canonized as a saint. 
He, by all accounts, he was a very humble guy and the legend around him grew probably because of being, you know, humble and uh, explaining things rather simply. And still he's considered to be a guardian, a protector, a patron, a, um, a symbol of freedom or freeing people somehow. And you want that. You want to maybe be freed of this tedious old job you have and something have something come along that is more befitting to you. Okay. You have St. Joseph and many of the things said about him. He was older. He was misunderstood. Okay. He also is considered the patron of workmen, particularly carpenters. And so you're talking about everyday people. You're not talking about a patron of kings. You're talking about someone who's here as someone who's for the people, you know, for everyday people doing most of the everyday day in and day out work. And also um, expectant mothers protecting. And that's another thing. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it here. Why do women need shelters? Like, how did we ever get to the point where things were so bad or brutal that you have to you have to establish shelters to protect them from hotheads, from thugs, from attackers? Okay, I want to teach you through your light body. I even have one uh, of the exercises in my modality called "Push Off the Attackers" or "Get Rid of the Attackers." and it energizes your whole body you feel very confident because it's stimulating parts of you on the inside and actually your musculature to make you feel like this but it exudes that perimeter your energetic boundary i'd love to teach it to you so i hope to see you soon uh please join me and please always be on the lookout check out my newly revamped website at TwinFlamesMerge.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.